And we got bananas in chat from I Love Cats, Rocky Avalon, Ollie95XZ, Ebank, E Mothery, Aqua, Alien Explorer, Alien Sanders. Jeez, people, jeez, give me a chance. I was doing so good. Oh, I was I was saying the names so eloquently and with great haste. And you guys just put so many bananas it went off the screen before I could even read about five or six names. Well done, pat yourself on the back. Because you, you won. I don't know, this is like a game now, isn't it? It's like the banana spam game. So appreciate that. Let's us know that we are live. Pre-stream music today was Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five. The Message. Classic. Classic song. Uh, two, two messages in chat caught my attention when that was playing. Uh, I butchered this name. Which is not me saying that I butchered this name. It is the name. The name itself is I butchered this name. Unless I misread it, in which case I have butchered the name about butchering the name. But let's forget about that. Uh, they said, did Grandmaster Flash live in the jungle? Now, I love this message because if it's not if it's not genuine, it's a nice little joke. If it is genuine, it's absolutely adorable. Uh, the, the, the jungle is the urban jungle, the ghetto, the streets. It is not the jungle with all the animals and all the trees, okay? It's the urban jungle. It's like a... It's like a metaphorical way of saying how this environment is like that environment. In the jungle, you know, everything eats everything else. There's a lot of activity going on and it's it's kind of like a metaphor for that. The other message that caught my attention was from Cyberdice saying, why do I like old people music, sad face? Now, I didn't know that that was an old person song, but the thing is, is that when they put out that song, they were young, and when it came out, people listening to it were young. It's a generational thing. Generations are interested in what's happening now more so than the past. If you like yourself, if you find yourself liking something from the past, pursue it. Go and listen to it because you'll enjoy it. Listen to music that makes you feel good. If it's not what other people listen to today, don't worry about it. Like, just find what you like. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's, should we play some Astroneer? There's a new patch. Unfortunately, this new patch is just a bug fix. I don't think it really actually adds anything at all. Like, there wasn't even one little thing that I could see that I thought was significant. Uh, JG says there are animals and trees in my city. Uh, okay, maybe maybe we should reclassify your city as a jungle then. Carl Storm says concrete jungle. Indeed, concrete jungle. That's the one. Joe Washi says uh, Operation SpaceX. Yep, it's about to begin. And J to the Osh says older music is amazing. It's so in it's so unspecific saying old music or old people music as well because there's like especially in this day and age there's tons of recreational acts. Like if you like any style of music for the last 30 40 years, there's probably someone out there putting out new records that are nostalgic and linked to uh, that era of time and sound. You know? Oh, excuse me. Um, so we got a new subscriber here. It is Disturbed underscore S. Haven't even got started and we got a new subscriber. And he resubscribed for 12 months in a row from JG424. That is one year. He says, I don't think so. Fix your maths, Twitch. Oh. Twitch be twitching, people. Twitch be twitching. Where am I? I'm down here. Hi. We've got to, uh, we've got to make a plan today. I think we need to build an entirely new vehicle bay. Unless we can move this one somewhere else. Problem is, it's linked to the vehicle bay. Right, now maybe what we could do is build another vehicle bay here. No, I don't think that would work. I'm not sure what to do. Carstorm says he missed the reference. Concrete Jungle is a game. Uh, Carstorm, yeah, it is a game, but Concrete Jungle is also another expression for... Like, that's the jungle that he's on about. He's on about the Concrete Jungle. The city. The urban environment. Uh, I'm really excited to watch you, and Banana says Odatus. Well, welcome to the stream, Odatus. Sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, Dementoy T has subscribed. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, man. Appreciate the support. And. <laughs> the Wizlu. Oh, it's so painful, isn't it? Jeez. All these people being nice and friendly. What's wrong with them? Uh, Cow Gaming says, What's the new patch? Uh, it's just a bug fix patch. I was really excited when I saw the download. And uh, I went and looked it up just before we started. I think literally nothing. Literally nothing of interest other than bug fixing. Uh, Carstorm85 has subscribed. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate it. Um, so I think what we're going to do is just try... Ooh, blah, blah, blah. Because we have to make another bay, we're going to try and move this one in front of where that bay would be. So let's start off by trying to winch it. 
Uh, where's my winch? My winch is on the back. So if we winch, hi, you onto uh, somewhere here, can you connect? It doesn't want to connect, and it has connected to this thing before, right? I'm not going mad. Uh, is it because there is a thing here? Look. Why is that, why is that like extended? Hi, were you, were you trying to connect to this thing? Oh, maybe we can move it around like that. Let's put our winch somewhere else then. Hi, this guy's having trouble moving. Okay, so if I get in here, can I drag it around? Is that what you're telling me I can do? I reckon this is going to break. Yep, it broke. Okay, so the winch is what we need. And I think I'm moving slow because the winch is heavy, right? Ollie says, did Mr. Music already listen to the new Orang album? Any thoughts? I listened to half of it today. That's all I've got time for. Uh, my initial, initial reactions, which nothing to go by because I listened to like half of it when I was doing other stuff. Sounds a little bit more cinematic. A little bit more, uh, yeah, of that vein. A little less more focused about like individual melodies uh, overlapping. A little bit more symphonic. S -s like... That's just my initial impression. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but that's kind of what I have stuck in my head. I don't think we can move it, people, but we've moved it before, and then the winch broke. So we have to build another one. That really sucks. And then we have to build another bay to put it in. Big and over says, Hey X, how do you use get how do you get to use your music in videos? Do you have a license? For the music and does it cost money or do you just have a non-official agreement with the musicians uh, I just have a non-official uh, agreement with the musicians some of them are a little bit official like backed up with some legal talk or whatever but uh, mostly it's just on agreements uh, Creative Commons is a really great license for getting music Creative Commons for non-attribution attribution if I could even say that properly Att attribution <laughs> I can't say that word attribution that's the one that's a good license for uh, for getting music under, although I did have a nasty experience where someone decided to U-turn on that agreement, which is technically illegal, but you know, you can get away with things, can't you? You can get away with things in this day and age. Right, let's have a look. I have a little bit of resin over here. So we have to... See, this resin was all for our base. We we're going to load this thing up, so we've got to go find a lot more this stream. So we're going to build another bay build another space shuttle. Jeez, it's going to cost so much. We should shift click them into my back, shouldn't we? There's some resin. What are you doing up there? And I love cats with a, uh, a noise in the ear reminder saying, jeez, X. Uh, I love cats is here resubscribing for six months in a row saying, wow, how time flies. I like the butterflies the best. So this is my sixth month as a subscriber. Half a year, buddy. So it's been amazing. It's been awesome. I'm glad you've uh, stuck around for so long. It's been nice to have you here. Mr. Kaboo says, Hey X, when are you going to dig to the centre of the planet? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Um, I've been thinking about it. I've got a feeling that next stream, or maybe the one after that, might be our last. Now, it'll be our last as in last for now. Every time they do an update, we'll probably, like a proper update, we'll probably... Uh, jump on. It is not the printer we want, is it? The vehicle bay. So we need aluminium. We're going to use up all of our aluminium doing this. Let's grab this one. Um, yeah, so digging to the earth is something you've got to remind me to do. I really want to do that, but as of right now, my sight for this game is kind of like get to the other planet, do some digging there, and then we probably, I get the impression, seen all that we're going to see for now. Um... Let's have a look. I don't... Th is that alum... Oh, there's aluminium. Glad I walked over there then. And then don't we need like another four for building this thing? Jeez. So many of my resources because I derped. Okay, so now we can build a spaceship here. And why... What's wrong with my brain? Didn't I like... Didn't I say a moment ago about trying to build the bay over here? Actually, it looks like that might have been a pain. And it might not have worked. Okay. That's that's exactly what went on in my head. I definitely made those decisions. Hi, can we put those on this? Uh, that is really good to know. We can do that. Awesome. Uh, even Minecraft Games says, what? No. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Version of Minecraft says, team reminder, also beard reminder. Hope you re hope you remember that one. I haven't forgotten about the beard. Miganova says, X isn't really worrying to have non-official agreements. 
Uh, any of the musicians could just say they didn't agree anymore and you would have to take down your video rights. I'm interested because I'm looking for music myself to use. Well, the sort of relationship I have with those artists doesn't... Like, that's not going to really happen. I mean... If it did, it would be extremely unsurprising, but like the only people that I work with on that level are people that I've talked to for long enough or like ha in good faith, you know? Like this is years of talking to someone and knowing their music and, and whatnot. It's, it's very unlikely it's going to happen, you know? And it would have a backlash if it did, but you know, uh, in this case it's because I know who I'm talking to, right? If I just contacted someone randomly and went, oh, good faith, thumbs up, like that would be a bad move. Chickster says X, how come you can't use the shuttle? If it has any seat, it should work. Um, because the shuttle's too small, we need to take a lot of materials with us, is the reason why. Mike the Flash says, Asu uh, Suma, funny about this, I didn't have school because of weather conditions, so I get to watch your live stream. Awesome! Glad you got a day off work, uh, a day off school. I mean, you should go to school, but it's, it's, it's nice when you get a day off. An unexpected day off. And I'm glad you came here to watch the stream. Let's have a look. We want to build a thing that costs four aluminium, right? The rover, the truck, the shuttle. Oh, it costs four copper. Amazing. Well, that saves us some time and energy. Glad I didn't wander off looking for that stuff before I realised uh, we already had what we needed. So, we've got three copper here. Is that really all we've got? I'm sure we had, like, loads of it stocked up somewhere. Not particularly seeing a lot. There's lots of lithium about. And more resin here. There's aluminium. I thought it was copper. Jeez, are we going to have to do a copper run? It looks like we're doing a copper run, people. Uh, also, wait. Maybe we should make use of this a little bit more. Hi. Uh, please make us another one. So if we throw away these things, because they suck. Hi. Not the copper. Jeez. I want that. Hi. No, you're doing it again. Stop doing that, please. Ooh. Camera angle spin. Let's chuck these things down. Very good. And now we're going to put our hydrazine on. So that will yield one compound, one resin. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we need two to get some of that. Or maybe we need a lot of it. Three is not enough. Four. Four each time. That's quite a bit, you know. Although this stuff is free. you just got to keep clicking on it. So maybe what you want to do is make multiple platforms of this and then have a farm. You sit there clicking over and over again on different ones. Mm. Anyway, I'm not sure if we should use that just yet. I mean, we need it for copper. Feels like uh, some of the rarer stuff we'll save it for. So, is that... That's aluminium. Is there anywhere else where I might have left materials? I don't think so. No, it looks like we're going to go on a trip for some copper. So let's go down to the caves and let's do that. Where's my truck? Where's my truck at? Truck, there you are. I see ya. Skullmaster says, hey X, I just got out of school, thus I will return to stream when I get home. Cool. I'll see you in a bit then. Uh, wait, where's the truck? It's back over here. Okay, we're going to put these things out of the way for now. Uh, the, the, the crane, can that be moved? No? I can't remove the crane, apparently. Oh, it did get built onto this thing, didn't it? Oh, well, we only need it to go driving. I guess in that case, then, we might as well take the uh, the drill head. It might end up being useful, can you believe it? There we go. The ore is cheaper, says Little Great. The ore was the only option. It, it didn't. I don't think it let you buy just uh, just copper. You had to buy the ore. But anyway, the ore was still expensive. It was four for one ore. Ooh, what is... Uh, that's interesting. This wasn't here before. That's also my bridge. So it's... Do you know what? Let's park this thing further. But that's really weird. Because that's my bridge. And you're on my bridge. <laughs> Get off my bridge. Let's... Uh, oh, hi. Let's try and steer you. Steering is always awkward in this game. Right, please stop rolling down the hill. That's very good. Cool. Well, that's what we came here for. Maybe that means this stuff regenerates over time. Sweet. There's more on the grounds. Yes, there is. Thank you very much. Very nice. Yes, malachite. We need some more of that. 
Uh, Skylad Dream says, hey X, I've been feeling ill lately, so I might have to duck out later. No problem at all. Buddy, if you're feeling ill, go and rest. Go and do what you got to do to feel better. Then I'll stick around here. It spawned there, lol, says Mike the Flash. Ah, spawned, respawned, regenerated. All sort of mean similar things, don't they? There used to be some in that area, though, which makes me think it might have regenerated. But that's just a theory. A game theory about Astroneer, right? Oh, did you like that thing I did just there? I made that up all myself. No one's ever done that before. Anyway, let's pop down here. Bam! Oh, missions, they hurt. And let's try and find some more of this stuff. And let's not wander too far away from uh, from the line. There's lo- Hey! I think I know what's happened. I think where they've had an update, or the patch has been implemented, stuff has reappeared. Because that was clearly all mined out, wasn't it? So that area probably had, that we were just at, probably had a little bit more of that stuff. Well, that's that's cool. Look, there's some up ahead, because it's respawned. By the way, do you have any tea, says Malavan. I do have tea. I have a mint green tea. How tasty does that sound? Let's mine this stuff using this technique. Like I'm holding down control, so uh, it's making like a flat area rather than just digging out an ugly hole. Which, it's kind of good, it's kind of good. Maybe we'll try and aim for a little bit lower now, so... And then pop off some more of it. And then we'll just do that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very good. Oh, there's more. There's more to be had. How close are we now? Right, so I have... I should have emptied my backpack before I left. I've got room for one more, people. Just one more. And I see some yellowy looking stuff down there. Uh, we have a resubscribe for 18 months in a row, which is a year and a half uh, from Night Fight and Evil Genie saying Astronaut is a really uh, awesome game. It is an awesome game, isn't it? Gelsberry says X knows Game Theory. What is Game Theory? No, I'm, I'm pulling your leg. Uh, Epic Boss Monkey is also subscribed. I love the name, Epic Boss Monkey. Brilliant. Thank you for subscribing. Leah Lair says, I semi wish there uh, that we were listening to Izuku's newest album. I would like to listen to music as well, but I like the music from the game. I like the ambience of the game. However, as you'll notice, the music stops playing pretty quickly, so it's nice to do something a little bit different. I've got to say, it could probably, it would be better with music, wouldn't it? I mean, what am I talking about? It's me. Of course it'd be better with music. Hi. We've got one there that needs carrying back manually. Now we could put that on our truck, actually. So let's try and bring back two manually. Excellent. We're bringing back lots and lots of stuff. Which is always good. Must remember to run through here. Super Swift Speed is in chat uh, saying, Subhype. Thank you. Thank you for the subhype. Minion says, X, it would be an awful shame if you died to some stupid mistake. Wouldn't it be... Wouldn't it be some awful, awful... Yeah, it would be really awful if I died to a stupid mistake right now, wouldn't it? You know? Let's read out some... No, I'm joking. Ooh, let's run! <laughs> okay, I've done my joke. Let me escape. Jeez, the gas is coming for me. I've pushed my luck. Oh, jeez, that was terrible. Okay, are we... Did I go past... No, no, look, there's our little branch. Aha, our branch... Aha, yes, pick it up, please. Yep, yeah, thanks. I don't know why he does that sometimes. The little fella just points at it and makes a noise. Mother Reackle says, I got Twining's Pure Peppermint today. Uh, my new thermos, I make tea in the morning, and I've got hot tea all day. Wow, that sounds awesome. I Do I have a thermos? I think I do. But I don't really like go anywhere too often to make use of it. <laughs> and uh, was it peppermint tea, was it? I don't know. It sounded great, whatever it was. Like peppermint spearmint. Those things are lovely. Hi, yeah, we know. Yeah, it is. Pick it up. Thank you. Uh, Super Swift says, This is why we can't have nice things, X. W what is why? I, I do, do not understand to which, which we are retaining to. Uh, Miss Monia says, I brought tea with a yellow tea picture on it, but the true tea colour after making my tea was red. Now that, I don't... Tea is primarily brown. I've never seen tea bags that are yellow, so that concerns me. But the fact that it came out red concerns me even more. Uh, I've, the only teas that I've had that are different colours are green tea, which are slightly greenish. In fact, very greenish. Sort of yellow, green, brown kind of look about them. And I've also had some uh, raspberry teas, which are like a little bit on the fruity side, like a deep purple. Hi, that's not a, that's not a reference to the band. 
Jeez, let's put this up here. Hi, are you going to go on the thing? Please. That one didn't go on. Why did it not go on? Because there's something in the way. Uh, we would like to remove that. And it is difficult to click on, so we will... Can I not attach that to the front? Or the back? Well, this is rubbish. Uh, but I know what I can attach to the front. That. Hi. Come back here. Bam. Let's head out of here. We've done we've done a good job there. We didn't get too... Ooh. Struggling to steer. Okay. Struggling to steer. It's Astroneer with the crazy camera angles. As always. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, DJ Gamer says, You know you feel better when you, if you have a zip from your tea. A zip from my tea. I don't know what that means. Zip from my tea. What's what is that on the ground? Oh, it's just. Uh, that had a thing attached to it. That was odd. That was very odd. I think that was a bug. I think we found a bug. Need to make a bug report. Okay, so we've got to use this thing over here next, and we must not make the mistake we made before. I think we're forever going to be stuck with like a uh, thing in the top there. Let's move the lithium somewhere else. Cool. And um, we are going to grab that. Yep, come with me. Come with me and you shall see. Uh, Free Phase says, what's in the new update? Nothing. Oh, it's just a bug fix update. I'm so disappointed. I was really looking forward when I saw Because I, I went to stream and then it was like, oh, it's updating, is it? What's, it? what's happening here? What's going on? What's the haps? Turns out it's just a, like a, a boring old bug fix one. Okay, right, so we need the copper to make our spaceship. We'll come back over here and process the rest of the ores in a moment. Let's make the spaceship first. And then we can assess how many materials we need. Hi, spaceship. We're going to build you. Okay, click on the button and there it goes. Uh, Rev MC says it would be more interesting with some type of action. This game could do a little bit of action, couldn't it? Could definitely do with some of that. So thanks a lot. Says, uh, what did the new update bring? It it brought bug fixes, and that's the only thing it seems. Unfortunately, oh, I was so excited, but you know, whatever. Uh, let's head over here, and we need to take those. That's aluminium. Why can't I take it? Backpack isn't full. Hi, we found a bug. We found another one, peeps. Look. That wasn't even there before. I don't know what's going on. Right, let's chuck this thing into here. Press Q. Fix that. Let's see what happens to the aluminium this time. Look, it's one you can't select. Maybe it's not fully made. It kind of looks like it's got a couple of blocks missing at the front. In fact, that one that weren't finished up the top here, well... Yes, it was. Look, it was aluminium. That's why it's there. Aha, it's not a bug. We've solved... I've solved the problem, peeps. Don't you worry about it. X, could you make videos of this, says Pets. I decided not to because that weird cursor glitch that we got. That's why we're streaming it for this month. That has been the plan. Alright, so if we have a look up here. The aluminium isn't in isn't complete, says Leale. Yep. You sussed it out quicker than I could. Right, we can make a one-seat module, which I think we should. A crane, I don't think is going to be helpful. Storage is. Free seat looks amazing but right so I think we just need I'm gonna let you guys tell me do we need one seat and a storage blob right I think that's what we need now storage blob costs four compound and the seat cost right so we're going we're going looking for compound and we don't have to go too far because the patch seems to have restored many of the things that we would like to get so uh, also backpack be full let's go uh, sort that backpack out minion says X is just a reminder the game is still an alpha I'm, I'm very much aware of that I'm very much aware of that uh, but appreciate the reminder. Dragon Star says you cannot pick up and move items if they're not complete items. There you go. You guys are sussed out so much quicker than I could. Okay, we are going to put some things, some things over here. That's what we're going to do. Hi. Uh, we've got room for one over here as well. Oh, apparently more than one. Yep, there. Let's put the hydrazine up here now since we're going to trade it. It's also our rocket fuel. We've got to remember. Cool, all the copper's been put in place. Now we can go get the compound. Free... So people are saying free seat and storage. Why would we want the free seat one? One seat storage and then a smaller storage, says QWERTY. Two storage and put a seat on the storage, says... 
I like, oh, no, 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 no. Now, we, we tried that with our previous ship. I know what you're on about, and apparently that's a bad idea. So I'll see what other people say, but it seems like the logical one to me is the one other people were recommending too. I love cats, although a free seat would look really cool, wouldn't it? A4 says, I'm sick, so I can actually watch the stream. I'm sorry to hear you're sick, but I'm glad you're here checking it out. I'm going to have a little bit of tea. I love cats as I started to work out a bit on my upper body, and then all my body decided to hurt, even my legs and mostly my bum. It's really annoying, but uh, that's progress. So that's going good. Yeah, I was about to say that the pain is a good thing. Uh, let me have a little sip of this tea. Mm. Fun story for you. I love working out. I love. Uh, I say I would say going to the gym, but I always I just like I got my own set of weights, so I didn't have to go to a gym to do weightlifting, and uh, I've always loved it. It's it's brilliant. But uh, for the years that I've been doing it, I had to. I didn't have to. I chose to stop for a while after Download Festival. So for the last six months, I've been without lifting, and. Um, like January, change of plans, changing how we're doing YouTube, putting more time into other things. And one of those things was weightlifting. And the other day I sat down, set out my plan, figured out like what my routine was going to be, like week by week. And uh, then yesterday and the day before, I've been weightlifting and it feels so good. And today, my, my flies and my chest are absolutely torn to shreds. Like, it hurts. I was trying to do some star jumps earlier and I couldn't lift... I couldn't lift my arms off the ground. It was, well, off my body. It, that, that's the sign of a good workout because what you do when you lift weights is you tear your muscles, which might sound bad, but believe it or not, your body is quite amazing and uh, it can do that. And then when the muscles are torn, they repair themselves. But when they repair, they get bigger. So that's how like weightlifting works. And so all the repetitions that I was doing uh, with the different exercises were ripping different parts of the muscles. And then that's why the day after you go to the gym, have this crazy like feeling in your body uh, but you get used to it and it's a nice feeling because it lets you know that you've made the progress like and it's not pain like ow I need to see a doctor it's pain like it's like soreness but you know exactly what it's for um, so it's pretty good right we're gonna put a one seater on this in fact let's start off with our uh, storage since that costs more hi hi storage let's put in some compound uh, how much did you get not enough oh no you can go back there did I only get two compound? Dude, I, I am nattering away. I must have not picked up a lot of compound then, apparently. <laughs> only two. I think there's another patch nearby. Let's have a wander. Uh, Health Doctor Asuma says New Moon. Yeah, everything I'm telling you is stuff I've learnt from myself. I'm not a trained professional, okay? Um, but I'd like to think that I, I learned pretty well and found what worked for me when it comes to that stuff. I mean, if ever you're interested in health and doing things like that. Learn, learn, learn. There's so much advice you can get online, but the best thing to do is to listen to a lot of it and then like try some of it carefully and you'll figure out what works for you and what makes sense. X, you derp, you missed diamonds, says Gelsberry. Oh no, I missed a diamond. What have I done? DJ Gamer says, uh, put a ton on your spaceship, too big storage. On that you can put normal seat. Yeah, uh, apparently that doesn't work anymore, so I'm not going to do that. Asuma, what's your favourite animal? Do you own one? Well, if I had an animal living with me, I wouldn't say I own it, because it is a living creature, and I don't think I should own that. Um, but I don't have a, an animal. And my favourite... I don't know, I love all animals. They're so amazing. Like, how could you pick a favourite? That's crazy. What are you on about? There's so many of them. There's, there's literally thousands of animals, like gazillions of thousands as well. So there's so many to choose from. I think I see some compound over to the left. Mother Eackle says, just got the best news of the year so far. Between one of my job, tuitions, help, and music scholarship, I do not own the community college. Uh, I do not owe the community college almost $1,000. They owe me over 300 That's even after renting the textbooks I need. I'm so excited. I was worried, and I wouldn't be able to afford some. That's, that's great news. Um, I got a funny little story. It's nothing like that, <laughs> but it's sort of related. So uh, there was a book I wanted to read that I didn't want to buy. Uh, decided to go to the library and I hadn't been there in a long time. It's like 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 15 years or whatever since I used the public library, and uh, I had a fee. I had an outstanding fee, and I thought, here we go. 15 years, forgot to return a book. Uh oh. Uh, the outstanding fee, right after 15 years, cost five pence. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I was like, I'll pay it. I'll pay it right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't worry about that. I'll pay the fee. Whatever it is, I'll pay it. Oh. Uh. Is this five pence? Like what? We need to uh, we need to find like a bigger patch of compound that's closer nearby. 
don't we? That is what we need. Maybe I should be like jumping in and out of the truck at this point. Also, if I really wanted to, I could use these two again if we're going to stick in the area. Got a feeling that'll turn sour quickly, though. Where's my truck? Over there. I love cats. Says, Pff, my dogs <laughs> and my... my Sorry, my cats and my dog own me, not the other way around. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's true. I see that a lot, actually, when I go running. You see someone walking their dog, and it's like, oh, who's walking who? <laughs> Hi, it doesn't like being on there, that solar panel, does it? It, it wants to go over here, then. Okay. Uh, the badge, bad agent. Uh, no, no, you're not. You've got friends right here hanging out with you in chat, playing Astroneer together. You're welcome here, my friends. Don't be sad or down. It's all good. Let's have a look. We've got more compounds right there and right over here as well. That's terrific because I'm going to mine that stuff up. Uh, Flute Girl says, My dad still hasn't returned his library books from when he was little. Jeez, he'll probably owe him sixpence it's been so long. My goodness me, with interest, that might be 7p. Jeez. Don't go to the library, they'll have your arm and your leg. <laughs> or, or your pennies, you don't know. Not those pennies. <laughs> the actual pennies. Let's, let's get the rest of this. I should stop nattering. Hi, there's so much of it. Jeez, look at that. I think we, like, mined all of this before. Actually, you know I said that it looks like stuff's regenerated? I reckon... When it regenerates, it doesn't put it in the floaty area, so all the bits around the edges had extra stuff again. That's kind of what it looks like. Use the drill, says Chris. I brought this drill with me and I don't use it. I know, it's like it's like I prefer using this thing or something. The drill's cool, we checked that out. I just, I just felt like using this. I didn't really want to think about it. Hi, how many of these do I want to pick up? Four? I think that's a bad strategy because uh, we've got to get all the way back to base. Uh, actually, we'll leave them here for now. It's only a quick journey. Is that resin? Amazing. Everything's near us again. X, why don't you use the drill, says Ninus. Oh, jeez, if I use the drill, people will be asking me why don't I use my little... Whatever that thing is called. What is it called? What is it called? We've got to look at it. What's my brain saying that's called? Uh, hand cannon. Why are you not using your hand cannon, X? Jeez. Why are you using the drill? What's going on? Hi, we'll put the compound there. Uh, we're going to make this thing now. Storage. We got that. Your backpack is full, says uh, JTR Jason. Yes, it is. Yes, it is full. Well observed. Hi. Uh, let's move some of that over here. Yep. We can trade. We'll trade some rarities. And, uh-oh. Oh, it's charging up. Oh, it gave me a heart attack. Let's put a one-seat module in. I'm half tempted to put the three-seat one in. <laughs> Cool, yeah, you make that, that's terrific. How much compound do I have lying about? I've got another four, well, that's quite a bit. Uh, we've got loads of hydrazine, man, loads of the stuff. And some titanium. Let's put titanium here. Let's drag that thing. And uh, let's just pop it down on there. Now, we're going we're gonna to pinch slash steal this storage. Put it up here. Hi. Uh, then we need two more of those, or is it three more, actually? Yeah, we need another three of them, can you believe it? Okay, so where are we going to find such things? I think all the other ones are in use at the moment. Aha! But wait! There's one all the way over there. Tuxedo Cat says hand cannon, haha. -ha. Hand cannon it is, if you like it. Vacuum! Everyone, now everyone's saying vacuum. Jeez, but it can put lands down as well. I don't know. Oh, I can never get it right, can I? I should give up. I should stop doing this, so I can never say the right words. Hi. Uh... Yep, you can go there. So two more of them. How much do those cost to make? Assume, are you going to invite your friends to your world, says Mike the Flash. Uh, which friends? Because, I mean, I could. I could invite Biffer on to play, I guess. Uh, I played with Ren and Iskow once, but I don't think they really like the game that much. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, you want some compounds? Well, guess what? I've got, I've got all the compound we need. Brilliant. Do you like sushi, says Mug. I love sushi, actually. I don't have it very often. I, uh, I do eat fish on occasion, and uh, sushi is, is definitely a preferred dish. Hi, no, oh jeez, put that back. Let's put some compound on, and let's make another one. Very good, very good. All good in the hood, homie. Uh, Gels Berry says, I'm really enjoying these astronaut streams. They seem to make it a lot easier for Suma to interact with chat. Yeah, I guess different game, different play style, right? So, there's no surprises there. So, uh, oh, yeah, you're not you're not the spaceship. The spaceship is like, why do they? Oh, look, it's a little blob blob to put it on the ground. It's a little, it's a little blob thing. Yeah, 
like a tyre, a tyre to balance it on the ground. Can you... Oh look, we still need one more. But then we're going to have like epic amounts of storage. Jeez, where do you want to go? Over here or over there? So we still need two more compounds. Let's... I want to say take the truck, but actually I don't. I think what I want to do is take a different truck. Let's... Yeah, we're going to have to take these things with us. Let's go grab another one. I'm sick of that crane, man. The crane sucks. Nah, it's alright. But we can't carry as much stuff because of it. Gelsberry says... Oh, it's the same message. Jeez. Such a derp. Leela says, do you make your own sushi or do you get it from the store? I get it from the store. I must confess, I've not had like proper, proper sushi yet. I have like, you know, stuff from non-sushi places. Uh, this will do. That'll do just fine. Right, and then you go on there. And then we shall disconnect. Discombobulate the connector thing. Jeez, there we go. Oh my god, he, he calling everything a blob blob again. Says blob blob. Blob blob said it. No, I'm joking. I'm joking, buddy. What is that 8080 thing, says Epic Knight? 8080 is like the... Yeah, this thing here. It's a spaceship, man. I like the comparison, actually. That makes sense. At first, I was like, 8080? And then I saw it, and I was like, oh, yeah. Okay. We need to collect resin while we're out here. So we will do just that, believe it or not. Oh, it's hydrazine. Jeez, we've got loads of that. Let's get away. Let's run away. Angry K9 says sushi. Ooh, but for some reason that made me think of peanut butter fudge. Oh my goodness me. Peanut butter fudge? And now I want peanut butter fudge. Oh, to anyone who's like, ooh, sushi, raw meat. Um, like, I, di I, I didn't really sort of go, ooh, raw meat. Like, or anything like that when I learned what sushi was and was asked if I'd like to try some. I just thought, I'll give it a go. And, uh, like, raw fish, really tasty. Like, I don't know. I don't know what the ooh is about it. Like it's, it tastes damn good. It's like it's nice. Poor little fishies. That's the problem. Like if you want to survive, don't taste good. I mean, don't taste good. Otherwise, things are going to come along and eat you. Um, but yeah, like the raw meat and sushi tastes great. Tastes even better when it's like wrapped in a little bit of uh, this and that. I wonder if anything here, like respawn. Like sometimes you get it with like cucumber and like fish skin wrapped around it, or uh, some other bits and bobs. There. I don't know. It's all, it's all good. Sushi's nice. I like sushi. Let's go inside and let's see what on earth is going on in here. Yep, you've been raided. You've definitely been raided by me. Okay, we need to go in search of uh, stuff. Uh, Mike the Flash says, stop saying blob blob, please. Well, you've made me say it again by putting blob blob in your message. If you stop doing that, then I won't say it as much. Jeez, come on. Free Phase says... Is it shift click to put items directly into your backpack? It is, and I probably don't do that half as much as I should, do I? Uh, we got a donation here, a noise in the ear from none other than Mr. Rocky Avalon saying to use on restaurant sushi or only, always only. Uh, Rocky, appreciate that gesture. Yeah, now I, now I have to seek out some sushi. Perhaps when I'm next in London, I will do that. Appreciate the donation, man. As always, thank you for the support. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a welcome nudge to make sure I go to a sushi restaurant at some point. Oh, jeez. Here comes the storm. Chickster says you can take a habitat with you so you can build anywhere on a new world. Oh, I thought... Okay, that other slot would put a habitat in, but I thought... Oh, I see. I see. Uh, Ryo Tramp says, uh, Wait, X, are you a veggie and eat sushi? Well, this is what I've said before. The problem with labels, like vegetarian or whatever, like, doesn't always describe what you are. Technically I'd be a pescatarian but like my dietary choices are to avoid um, like food that comes from animals so I don't eat eggs very often I don't eat milk, I drink milk but like it's like, and, and okay, I'll eat meat I'll eat meat if like there's nothing else to eat the only thing we've got for you is a slab of meat and I'm starving, I'll eat it. It's like I'm not uh, super I don't know, religious about it. I don't know how what would be the right word to use there um, you know, it's like each choice is a choice. And maybe not all of them would be as you'd expect. Thanks for the compound. I didn't know this was here. This is very, very good. Okay, and uh, why did we come out here? What am I exploring for? I think I need to head back and start building the plan because we've got tons and tons of compounds. More than we'll ever need. Yellow Harold says, I dislike most kinds of fish, but I really like making sushi for people. Ah, that's because cooking's great, yeah. Ninozer says, uh, you don't need to bring a Habitat X, you can make a platform from the spaceship. 
We can, but I like the idea of plopping down our own little habitat and starting the base from that. So I think we'll put... Well, actually, let's count materials before we do this. And we may want to bring with us some stuff like batteries and that. So when we build a platform, in order to get going, we want to build a rover. So to build a rover, we need the vehicle bay. And we also need... Do you know what? I need to sort of see how much each of these cost, don't I? <laughs> I think what I might just do is just take a lot of materials with me and hope it works out. Because that's going to save me making some confusing calculations. So resin would be one of those things that we would take with us. Let's chuck our two bits of resin. I want to get a lot of resin though. Like a lot of this stuff because it's used for building platforms. So let's... Where are you going? Can you not... Where does it want to go? Like... Why would you want to go there? Uh, we got a bit of a problem. It don't want to go in the storage. Uh, wait, did it just jump to one? Why don't you want to go in the storage? That's crazy, man. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of weird then. What if we do it that way round? Yeah, we'll do it that way round, because otherwise I don't know. So I think we should take one resin, one copper, one aluminium, one compound, and then the other one maybe resin again. That seems like a smart way to do business. Okay. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Tino Greet says, uh, You're not vegetarian, you are exitarian. Yep, you could, you could call it that, I guess. Right, so let's... Uh, let's. Right, now I can't... Can I shift-click, like... Oh, jeez, it's right in the way, that thing. No, I can't shift-click. I've got to drag each and every one. There's also, like, a ninth one down there just noticed. Hi. Each time I take it out, it puts one back in. We'll never win. Okay, now you fill up, right? So that extra compound, for now, we'll just put on a platform. Okay, cool. Let's go get some resin. We're going to drive this thing. This thing about. And we'll be super smart and put one of those on. So we can carry a little bit more. We've got two reminders in chat from I Love Cats and from Jailsberry. Appreciate that. Thank you. Mm. Uh, the Bad Agent says, what kind of sushi is your favourite? I don't know what they're individually called, but I love the one that's just basically uh, like rice with a slab of sa salmon on top. That's very nice. Epic Knight says, wow, Mr. Gear took a nitro nitrogen frozen chicken and cut it with his 1000 Celsius knife. I've seen that channel. It's the most ridiculous thing. I'm like, why is this interesting? I don't know. I, I found it quite boring, to be fair. Mm. Also, there's no way that that knife is 1,000 degrees Celsius. This is complete nonsense. Right, let's go find the resin. X, what do you think of Mr. Gear's smashing chicken that was dipped in liquid nitrogen, says Dan Duck. Uh, lots of people are watching this video, apparently. I'm not really interested in uh, that channel at all. I don't know what to say. It just doesn't interest me. Okay, we're going to go... Ugh. Try not to get lost. Oh, this camera angle forever fools me. It forever gets the best of me, peeps. I think the plan here is to not go too far away from base, right? But I mean, like, don't go out of eye shot of base. So now I'm going to veer to the left so we can come back round again. I love that slurp sound, says I love cats. Some people go, oh, slurping, disgusting. I'm glad you like it, because... Uh, I can do it again for you. How about that? No. Mm, there it is. Hopefully you enjoyed that slurp. That was an authentic slurp. I didn't press the slurp button, believe me. I don't have a soundboard for those things. Come on, you believe me, right? I'm joking. Anyway, uh, <laughs> resin. I think I see some. Uh, that is resin. Uh, for a second there, I thought it wasn't. Then I realised it was. Back and forth with this decision on if it's resin or not. Boom! We're going to take all of this resin. It's all ours. See you later, everything else. Oh, we're getting a little bit of organic with it, which we don't want. Oh, that's great. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Big old patch of resin. There's actually quite a lot of this stuff here, isn't there? Bam! And we're finding more every second. X, why do you choose not to eat meat? It tastes amazing. 
Uh, because I've watched obscure, weird internet videos where it shows you inside meat factories and I go, oh dear, I do not like how these animals are being treated. And then I decide, well, if you don't like something you, that you see and it costs money, then don't buy it. Like, consumer power, right? If you don't like a certain, I don't know, company's ethics, because you hear, oh, they do this thing, they do that thing, don't buy their products. Simple. You have purchasing power. Right, let's uh, let's put all these things on. Boom! We got loads of resin. Let's keep getting more. This patch is infinite, I tell you. It's infinite. It's probably not. We're probably almost done. <laughs> he says 1,000 degrees. He probably means Fahrenheit. Says the bad angel, uh, bad agent. It could mean. It just, I don't know. It's just not very like. It's not very scientific. It's just a guy heating up a knife and cutting things. I don't know why it's interesting. If you guys find that interesting, check out channels like Smarter Every Day. I mean, you see some amazing stuff on there. Like, he got a Tesla coil gun, right? Tesla coil uh, creates, like, miniature lightning in front of you. Like, literally spikes. The bigger you make it, the bigger the lightning. Um, the lightning can even touch you and not shock you as well, which is fascinating. But he found someone who made a Tesla coil gun, and then they went and filmed it. And it was just like, what? This is amazing. Uh, we're out of power, by the way, so I'm just going to sit here and chill. going to chill with you guys for a little bit while we wait for the sun to rise. Um, also, he did a video where they had this thing called... Oh, it was named after, like, a king or someone royal or a prince. I think it was a prince someone. And they made this glass drop, right? And it's like, imagine a droplet of water, except the top bit, the bit where it comes to a point, is really long. And this strange shape, it's kind of hollow. It's got air inside of it. Um, it, for some reason it can withstand like crazy amounts of pressure and force and so what he did is he took a high-speed camera and he shot himself shooting it and the bullet would shatter when it hit the glass so he shot a bullet at glass and the bullet shattered and it's absolutely amazing Prince Rupert drop everyone is telling me wow you guys have great memory Prince Rupert drop that's the one yeah uh, totally fascinating stuff Dweller Benthos says yeah Tesla coil gun was nuts. Go check it out. Uh, smarter every day. Google that. Seriously, this guy has some uh, amazing videos. It's the type of channel where when you find it, you also want to go back and like look at their catalogue of videos because there's loads of stuff you've missed out on. JG says, wow, lots of smarter every day fans in chat. Yes, there is. It's good to see, really. Uh, Mike the Flash says, Asuma is a nerd. I'm not keen on that word. I've always seen that word as like an insult, but that's because like in the 90s, growing up with like American stuff on TV, like nerd was an insult. It's like, oh, shut up, you nerd, or whatever. And I was like, oh, why are they being mean to that person? They, they just like computers. Leave them alone. <laughs> um, yeah. Our backpack is full of this as well. I think, we, I think we've got some unwanted organics in our backpack. Jeez, that stuff. We've got to get rid of it. No. No, we do not want organic. What do you think I am? We've got so much materials in this like little run that we've done today. I wish more episodes were like this. I say episodes, you know what I mean, a stream. You missed the resin, says Mike the Flash. Let's leave it. Let's leave that one resin behind. You know what they say, always leave one behind, right? Right? I Love Cats says, nerd is a good thing, man. I'm a nerd and I'm proud. Yeah, maybe that maybe language, you know, language always changes. Maybe now it's become a good thing. But it's still, it's still like, I've still got that kind of like... It still sounds like a nasty thing to say to me, you know? Uh, that's why that's why I don't really use that terminology. Like, there's certainly things and people that I see that I could describe as saying like nerdy, but I, I'd, I'd always see that word as being like a bit of an insult. So I don't I don't really choose to use it. Mother Ackle says, "I call my middle schoolers nerds as a term of endearment. We play Magic the Gathering together, and they're such little nerds. I like them though." <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. Like that, that kind of, uh, yeah. I gather, I gather the magic. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell, brain? I gather the magic. What's this? Magic the Gathering. Um, yeah, definitely something that you'd associate with nerdiness. But for me, I'm, I'm the sort of person that's like, if you want to play Magic the Gathering, do what you want to do. Like, why, why should anyone knock that? Whereas, like I said, you know, American TV growing up, that would be the kind of thing. If you saw Magic the Gathering on TV, it's because someone was knocking it, and I always thought that sucked. Um, hi. Right, so that is... That's a lot of stuff. Jeez. That is a lot of stuff. Now we've got to do copper, and then aluminium. Uh, didn't we have, like, one more of these? I think I put it on my truck. I think I put it on my truck. Hi, the truck has resin on as well. Jeez, so much resin. 
what will we do with it all? There's also titanium. We haven't even seen what we use that for yet. Right, let's start taking coppers and uh, putting resins away. So apparently we're doing copper next, which is cool. Then we'll take those ones and drag them over here. X, do you know uh, that nerdy channel on YouTube called Asuma Void? Jeez! Oh, I mean, you might look at what I do and call it nerdy. If you do, that's fine. I mean, I ain't got a problem with whatever you think it was. I would have just never thought of it like that. But then again, as, as we've clearly established, I, I see the word differently to how people use it today. Um, but I'm aware that that's what people mean now, you know. I really love these streams, X. Keep up the good work, says Aaron Sully 4 Thank you for the nice message. Appreciate you coming by to watch. By the way, 550 people are watching. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, I hope you're enjoying it. Some people here are clearly enjoying it. That's great. <laughs> the chat is so quiet, says uh, Yuri Riddler. I'll oh, just turn up, turn up your, uh, your your speakers. You'll hear them. They're there. Trust me. Okay, uh, we're gonna put our copper on this one for now. This will be like a half and half. In fact, I don't think we need a lot of copper, so maybe leaving it half and half on some materials is uh, is like a brain smarts thing, you know, like being all clever and that. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, no! Oh, jeez, that's not clever. Hi. Can we put you back on... Oh, what? Yep, yeah, it's copper. No, pick it up. Oh, trying to do the simple things in this game. Yep, yeah, resin. I know. Pick up the copper, please. And then put it on. Yay! And then now... Yes! Okay. If you understood what was going on there, well done. Uh, Beast Quick says, Hey, X, I subbed them. For some reason, it didn't show up. It hasn't, has it? Beast Quick, thank you for subscribing. I'm not sure what's happening there. Sounds like Twitch... It's being twitchy. How predictable. How predictable is Twitch? Right, so we've got a half and half on copper. Uh, what do we want next? Titanium and aluminium? But we never use the titanium. I, have we ever used titanium once? I don't think we have, so I'm going to leave it here and uh, try and grab... Oh, there's lithium as well. With lithium, we can make batteries. That's right. Right, I think it's time to, uh, to use up our hydrazine. And trade it for aluminium. So that's al Oh, look. I was talking about this earlier. Seven compounds, seven resin, and that stuff is what we want. Let's get rid of the coal. Um, let's take that as well. Let's, let's do that trade, man. It's a good trade. Let's also make some more of that stuff. And we've got loads of it over there. Let's trade this stuff like crazy. Uh, we got a. a. a cheer here. Some bits have been thrown at me by Ollie95XZ saying. Uh, X, you derp. Your solar panel has been disconnected and you covered the ground up. What? It's been disconnected. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. What happened to my little trucky rover? I did cover the ground up without thinking. I think the rover's gone. I don't see it down there. Uh, I'm going to leave that one alone because uh, that was a big old pain. I'm just going to leave it there for now. We've got other solar panels. We've got other batteries and amazingness here that can help us out. Don't worry about it. Right. More hydrazine, more more power to you. Thank you. Uh, oh, and oh, yep, yeah, good timing. That came back just in time. We will take these things, and uh, we will replenish them with more hydrazine. Oh, backpack be full. That's not good. Still got some more copper here. Am I going to take that extra copper? I feel like I should. Let's uh, let's chuck some copper on there. All right, let's get the hydrazine. We'll take that. Those two. Any more lying about? Yet. Yeah. Oh, goodness me. So much hydrazine. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. What nationality is a sumer, says uh, Aaron Sully. I am English, although I'm not a nationalist. In fact, that's something to be talked about. I'm not into nationalism at all. I, 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 th I, see, I see us as all people of the world, you know. And those things can be used to separate us, which I don't like. Right, let's uh, bam like that and then get loads of those things. Amazing. Rocky Avalon says it's a big old plane. That's pretty accurate. Did I say that? <laughs> Backpack be filling. Yes, it is. Uh, Dreads Metis says your spaceship needs like 8 or 10 hydrazine. Does it? Oh, jeez. I've just gone and wasted it all. What have I done? I'm such a derp. <laughs> My Ackle says I think the internet is becoming more widely available. Nerds are more acceptable because they're able to reach out and find others with their interests. They also get better media betrayal than the Yurkul character type. There are whole communities like the Nerdfighters based around 
being unapologetically nerdy or passionate about what you like. I mean, the way you word it there, it's almost stupid. Like, it's almost like how how can we like have such a problem with people being passionate about something? You know, like that should be totally ex like passionate people help develop society with the things that they're interested in and you know another th reason I think it might be more acceptable is because the world's so much more tech oriented now it's like uh, you know like nerds air quote aren't people I don't know writing obscure things for computers which not everyone knows about they're now making like they're rock stars now they're making the apps that you use on your phone everyone's got a phone in their pocket and using apps and stuff it's like the tides have turned you know now, why can't we make more hydrazine? Is what I'm wondering. Uh, let's take. Oh yeah, backpack before. Well, we need some for our rocket ship. Let's start filling it up. Here you go. Take all the hydrazine. How do we see? Oh, it's a little tank down the bottom there. Look, the purple stuff is the hydrazine. So, what's going on with this fuel condenser? Can anyone tell me? Are we like low on power? Oh, maybe. Maybe that was the only solar power we had. Oh, jeez, I've got to reconnect it, haven't I? Let's go use this thing over here and see what happens, because... Everything's still got a bit of power, right? Hmm. Right, in you go. Uh, whoops. Hi, we got some more of these, but my backpack... That thing should really, like, move over to the side of the screen, shouldn't it? Okay, that is a lot of stuff. Yeah, we have like a couple of things somewhere around here that generate power, I've just realised. There they are. Solar. So that's all we got in our base. Okay, so I reckon that disconnecting probably was quite terrible. Uh, you have coal, use it, someone said. Yeah, that one coal. Man, let's, let's use it because it's always just there in the way. Coal, hi. Aluminium, hello. Right, so let's unload some of this. Can you... Oh, <laughs> that view, man, like, it's always... It pops up in the worst space. Like, it doesn't go to the left of the screen. It has to go to the bit I'm looking at. It's like it knows. It's like it knows exactly what I want to do, and it wants to get in the way. Hi, but not today. Not getting in the way right now. Okay, I'm going to move... Uh, I shouldn't move that thing over in case I want to use the crane. So we've got one other thing, and I guess we need to borrow our... Trucks. So where's our truck? Uh, <laughs> is it over there? It must be over. Yeah, it must be over here somewhere. There it is. Bam! It's right next to us. So we're gonna borrow that solar, uh, that seat for now, and put it over here. You're gonna attach. Yay! It's attaching. Marco Dreesen says X is waiting for the sun to rise again. No power, haha. <laughs> oh, was the sun... Ah, I guess it was. It wasn't terribly dark, was it? I didn't think it was night. It might have been. Oh, jeez. Okay. Can we get a, a, two connections? We've got one. But no second connection. There it is. Get out. Quick. Connect. Bam. Connect. Bam. See. Stolen! We've stolen the seat. Quick! We need to get to safety. I don't have many rock storms on this world. Don't say that, because now it'll be a rock storm. Quick! To the Batmobile! X, are you going to space? Says Tino greets. Yes, we are! We're getting prepared to go to space right now. Uh, Cutie Pie Kitten says, But nationality can also be taken as representing a shared history and upbringing. Nationality can be seen similar to identity. I don't like the way those are floating about. I'm going to be honest. That's scaring me. Uh, the trick is not to turn that into the identity into an us v them thing. I still, I still think even if it's a positive thing, I still think thinking globally is better. I don't know. I, I guess it's because you always see it as a tool of separation. Because in its unity, it's always, it's always going to be a unity of separation, right? It's always going to be a unity of exclusivity, like only some people, and seeing oneself as separate to others. Oh, this is so bad! But we can go get our stuff back, I just don't like the way we're getting hammered by these rocks. <laughs> Gelsberry says, X, what's your favourite word ever? I don't know! Music, that's my favourite word. Jeez, that was easy to answer. Didn't even have to think about it. 
Okay. Uh, hi. Oh, what's going on over here? Are you inside the block? That doesn't look good. And then we'll grab you as well. We're actually uh, we're starting to run out of space a little bit here. We've got one more aluminium we want to chuck on this thing. So what have we got? We've got tons of resin. Can anyone make a suggestion? Have I missed something? We've got resin galore. We've got a little bit of copper. Then we've got copper and aluminium. Hi. We've got tons of compound. I think compound might be the thing I've overdone. So we've got like one more thing. Also, we need to produce lots of hydrazine. Uh, let's get those things back. Made way too many of those, didn't I? So we've got our titaniums, we've got our... Is that resin? I went out looking for a lot of resin and we already had a lot here. Let's bring some lithium a little bit more. Oh, there's the aluminium as well. Jeez, I've got so much stuff. I didn't realise. Oh well. Hi. Let's put these in. His favourite word is jeez, jeez, says Virgil Amiga. I, I do just start saying jeez a lot sometimes, don't I? I don't know. It's listening to too much Iskow. If I watch an Iskow video, you hear me say it a lot. Uh, make the habitat, everyone's saying. Oh, do you know what? I think I'm going to put the extra storage on because it feels like we need to bring more materials, you know. Uh, I apologise for forgetting that. Okay. And also there's my backpack as well, isn't there? So we can put materials in the backpack. That can't be forgotten about. Okay. Uh, hi, what's going on up top? We've got room for one more aluminium, and it's going to go right over here. Or is it? Because it don't want to go on there. Okay, I'll tell you what. Down you come. On you get. And back up you go. Right, let's go make another thingy. Let's make another thingy, my bob peeps. Jeez, it's taking us an hour to get prepared. Uh, Game Watcher says, read, please, Asuma. Craft generator in backpack. It uses organic for power. I'm very aware of what the generator does. Don't you worry about it. Hi, let's uh, let's make another one of those because we need to keep fueling up our base. And we don't have any other like spare hydrazine lying around, do we? It's a bit of resin. Um, right, so the other materials we shall take with us. I think I want to take all of my lithium. I'm not going to take titanium because we still don't know what it's used for. Look, another piece of coal we don't need. Get wrecked, coal. You're going in the generator. Uh, where is that generator? Over there. Bam. See you later. I believe there might be something of use on here. Yep, more lithium. Very good. T dynamite? Should we bring the t dynamite with us? That would be cool. We could blow it up. Okay, we've got a beacon. We'll leave that there. And I think that's kind of it, isn't it? So what's going on in our backpack? Aluminium, lithium, dynamite. We've got room for two more things. Something else popped into my head. Maybe just take the resin? I think we'll just take the resin. Or we could craft stuff, actually. Like, what what would be useful here? A tank? What does that hold again? Oxygen, I think. Probably won't need that. Power cells? Holds power. Filters for oxygen generator? Not too keen on that. Wind valve? Nah, we don't need... We've got all we need already. Two reminders in chat. Camo J, uh, Gelsberry, and Camo J again. Thank you. How'd you get the dynamite, says the the bad agent. Sometimes I read that as Badgernet. <laughs> the Badgernet. The internet for badgers. Oh, uh, I found it, was, was the answer. Dweller says, need to make hydrazine to start the ship first. That is very true. We also have one more platform we can put stuff on, by the way. And we make that with compound, I believe. Let's bring this over to the printer. That even says storage up there. Right, where is my additional compound? Do we have one lying about? I think we've used it all up. Oh, that reminds me. <laughs> we don't need to make it because we can pinch one of these. That's literally what I was thinking of a moment ago. Okay, we'll, we'll put it on the ground for now. Hydrazine. Let's keep filling it up. Hopefully it doesn't need a full tank to get up there. It does look like it needs a lot, though. Okay, so uh, on our backpack, or sorry, on our on our extra little thing that we got now, we're going to take the resin. Another four of those. Try and put them all on one side would be nice. And uh, maybe we should take that titanium. That's kind of it. Like, I, I could spend a little bit more time. Aha, look, here's some stuff. Running around, trying to pick up some more materials, so we take absolutely everything we can. But I think uh, I think we'll just go with what we can do here. So I'm going to put 
that stuff in there. And then we've got room for two more. Let's pick this up. Right, we're going get, to get into space real quick, people. Oh, we've only got one more, haven't we? Actually, and one up there. We do have two. Uh, do we have Vein Miner? Whoops, wrong series, says Tino Gretz. Vein Miner would be nice. That'd be a great little mod. Mine one, mine all. That's what I say. And there it is. Nicely positioned in the middle of everything. Okay, uh, we'll put you up on top. Bam, look at our spaceship, man. I don't want to lose this thing. It'd be a disaster if we lost it. Isn't there some hydrazine, like, right next to our base? <laughs> Wait, there was some hydrazine, like, well close by. It was well close by, mate. I swear it was. There it is. Let's go get that hydrazine, y'all. You need the habitat. It will give you the freedom to choose where you build your base, says Danger Nerd. Uh, well, I'm not sure... I see what you mean. I'm not sure I really bothered too much. I'll just build it wherever we land. Uh, that being said, you're probably thinking about solar panels, right? Ha, huh, we need the habitat. Jeez, I wish you'd have told me that a moment ago and made me think about it. I'm joking. I'm joking, man. appreciate the uh, comment. Maybe we should do that then. Hmm. People are saying I only... Alright, we'll make it. We'll make it. We'll make the habitat. Calm. Calm down, we'll make that and then we'll go. I guess we won't take as many materials after all. Right, in you get. Yes, please. Uh, let's open up the backpack. We've got one for that side. One for this side. Cool, we're making all the hydrazine now, aren't we? They won't know what to do with it. We could even make it so that we have... I think you can leave them on the side when you fill up. So that'll be pretty cool. Alright then, so what are we doing? Uh, we're making that thing. And then we're leaving. One more job. Can I do it? What's it going to cost? Habitat. What do you cost? One compound? Two compounds. Right, visual glitch. Visual glitch just happened. For the sake of neatness. Oh, sorry. Not for the sake of neat neatness. Uh, we will pinch one off of up here. Yoink! Sorry! OCD now! Oh no, it was a perfect... Oh jeez, two of them. It was a perfect little platform. And we'll chuck an aluminium in there. In you get. Up you go. Nope. The whole thing. Okay, this one comes down. Let's, uh, let's go build this. The last little bit now. Who's excited to go to space? Dirt face in chat if you're excited to go to space. Because space is going to be amazing. Let's craft that. Asuma, just reconnect the solar panel. And Asuma, you should make your solar and wind farm in your next episode, says Mike Flash. Uh, the stream, you mean? Yeah, when we get to the new place, it'd be nice to build a big old... Like a really big line of batteries and, and ways to generate energy. Hello, Habitat. Let's go plop you down on the vehicle. <laughs> Danger Nerd says, uh, hand raised. The hand has been raised. Watch out, people. He means serious business. X, that is not working with the truck thing. Power generated from the solo is only transferred to the truck. It doesn't bridge when you want. Oh, dear. Well, how do we connect it all, then? Hey, look, that's got room for two more things on the back. Yay, two more things. Two more things, hype! Right, anyway. <laughs> Okay, that is a full backpack like you've never seen it before. I think we can even make it a little bit fuller. We are, we're repping to the max here, peeps. Remember this day? The day where we went to space. Are you, oh jeez, wrong button. Are you ready for it? Why can't I press the right button? Hello, yay! Managed to press a number key after a while there. Hi, in you go. Uh, I wanted to leave with two little tanks, one on either side, but I think we'll, I think we'll call that pretty good. It's time to go to space. Who's excited for the space? The space adventure. Am I back in the house? Has he been in space, says Joashi. Joashi, I can confirm that you are indeed back in the house. And I can also confirm that, yes, we are going to space. Hey, look, one more. Let's make one more before we go. I know, I know it means we've got to stand around and say goodbye to the planet. 
Uh, I'm going to get homesick, aren't I? Jeez, I didn't think about that. Anyone got some uh, medicine for being homesick? Because we're about to leave our planet for the first... Actually, it's not the first time, is it? Just don't know what I'm talking about, do I? We've already left before. Oh, well. Right, we're going to make one more so we do the perfect launch. We are going up there with maximum backpack and maximum maximumness of everything, okay? You can't fit... If this thing crashes and I lose everything, I'm going to cry, okay? I'm telling you now, X might cry. Right. There we go. We've fueled up. We're pressing tab to get into our glorious spaceship. Time to leave the planet. Let's press the button and go. See you later, base. It was nice knowing you. But we're going to go look for somewhere else to live now. Wow. The world looks so amazingly spherical. Hi. Uh, where are we going? What's happening? Are we going to that one? Are we... No. I can press a button. Where are we going, peeps? I haven't done this before. Our planet is so far away. Oh no. Uh, oh, are you a new planet or are you the same one? I don't know. You all look the same to me. I need some instructions. Go to the Tondra planet, says Dragon. Oh. Where's that? There's a red planet here. That looks amazing. Then there's an orange planet. Press it, someone says. Game Watcher says press it. <laughs> uh... I gotta press it, peeps. Wish for the best. Oh, will it let me? I think it won't let me press it. That's weird. <gasps> uh. <laughs> okay. So base be there. I am here. C can I go there, Baron? Okay, there's Baron. Oh, is that as far as I can go? Let's go to that one. Oh yes, please. Off we go. Apparently I can press up. No, wait. Press the up button. Oh, okay. Got ya. Never mind. Go to the sun, says I love cats. Where is the sun? Yeah, good point. Let's have a look for that. If we can. Where's the sun in space? There's the band of stop. Where is the sun? That's a very good question. Uh, so how do we pick where to go? The red area looks very hilly, so I think we need to pick somewhere with orange. Like a little bit of flat orangeness. Kind of looks like there's rings. Look, there's definite rings of reds there. Uh, now you go to the blue planet. This is way too exciting, says Charles Barry. Jeez, hold on, hold on to your, uh, hold on to your computer. It's it's too exciting. It looks like it's going to be all oh, that. That looks good right there. Baron apparently has he very heavy storms. I'm going to read the chat a little bit longer. Go to the sun. I heard it's a cold place, Kappa. Go to radiated. Dangerous planet, says the game watcher. So I'm guessing then each of these planets are going to be a little bit different from one another. For that reason, we can always land and then come back out into space, can't we? We've got lots of fuel for that. Let's 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 take our time. Go to the poles, infinite daylight. Says JG. That's smart. Who's a smarty pants? There's a pole. Let's go over there. <laughs> Uh, we've got to resubscribe for two months in a row. It's Golden, TNT, MSD, 14, saying I missed my original subscription shout-out, so I'll try to make this one. Sorry about that. Thank you for the resubscribe, though. Do very much appreciate it. Oh, no, there's poisonous gases right here. We're about to die, peeps. Oh, this is not a very pretty planet, is it? Wow. Okay. Am I out? No, I pressed tab. I'm out. Quick. Destroy. Destroy this new planet that we've arrived on and kill the things that live here. Quickly. Oh, and that one. Ugh, I don't think we did good enough. Quick. Oh, oh, get inside of here. Titanium on the surface. What? Are you kidding me? That is madness. Exotic planet is the best, says Resonant Shadow. Exotic planet is the best. I don't know. There's so many to go look at, I guess, isn't there? Oh, no, no. We don't want to do that. We want to destroy things. Okay, things be destroyed. Run away from poisonous gas. Okay, so titanium on the surface... Let's have a little wander here. Could do with some tethers, really, couldn't I? Oh, jeez. I think I might have chosen the pole where it's eternal night. <laughs> Which ain't so great, right? Oh, wow. Okay. What is that? That's a thing. It's a research thing. It's a blob blob. <laughs> uh, it's definitely different from stuff we've seen before. But didn't we, didn't we sort of agree? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. What the fudge was that? Where'd that thing come from? Did you see it? It tried to kill me. This planet is trying to kill me. Lithium! 
Oh my goodness me, think of all that. So what you want to do is you want to travel planet to planet to do different types of mining trips, right? Did you see that thing that tried to kill me though? So if we want to set down a proper base, then we can come back here and pick up materials later on. So will this research actually f help us find something we haven't seen before? Because, you know, uh, we thought we did all the research. We thought we did it all. Maybe it came from this thing, like after I picked up this pressure material. So I don't want to go too far. Lithium and titanium. What's this again? What's another one? <gasps> and another one! Oh, they're rolling out the ground! Lithium. Okay, it's lithium again. Jeez, peeps! We might die if we're not careful. Uh, let's run. Run, 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 run. Oh, oh, they're coming in. I wonder if I can pick one up. <laughs> Try and catch one. Okay, let's get back and get some oxygen. This is cool. If you are wearing an oxygen mask, how will gas affect you? Good question. I don't know. I don't know. So what else do we see? I don't, I'm not sure if that's all there is to see. There might be more stuff in the caves. This game doesn't appear to have like a big tech tree for stuff. We kind of believe we've seen it. Uh, White Fist says X build a shelter. I'm thinking of like continuing to travel for a little bit. If we come to a planet with lots of hydrazine, then we can... Uh... Oh, think of that. Like, that would be a good planet to set along. Because then you can use the hydrazine to go to the other planets to get resources. I like this business. We got a resubscribe for three months in a row from Bees Quick saying... Is this how my sub would show up? Lol, I'm not good at Twitch. Haha. <laughs> it is how you're... It, you did it. You did a Twitch. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I got your message. Thank you for the resubscribe. Do appreciate it. You need a drill to mine titanium and lithium, says Game Watcher. Ah, okay. We need a little bit of the tech. Should we leave? Should we leave and go look at another planet? Apparently the exotic planet is good. It's not gas, it's acid that eats through your seat. Jeez! Eats through my seat. Suit, even. Bees Quick says, I did it! Lol, you did it! Well done! Right, let's go up. Ah, now we can go even further. Or can we? <laughs> so, that's our... Terran is our original one, right? Exotic! Ooh! Radiated! That doesn't sound good. Let's go to the... No, no, come back! Oh, does that mean I missed my opportunity? How long till it comes back into the... Oh, it looks like it might float away forever and ever. That one's coming awfully close to us. <laughs> Don't crash. Also, why are there beacons below us? Like, what's going on down there? Are you ever going to come back, exotic? I Love Cats says, did he read my donation? I didn't. I'm so sorry. I missed it. I Love Cats is here. Uh, X, do you know what time when you find out about a new band? Sorry, X, do you know that time when you find out about a new band or music creator and you just hear all their songs in a few days? I'm having this... Uh, I, I'm having this now. I'm discovering new territories with steam-powered giraffe and I have... Only Leah Leia to thank. Yeah, that happens. That happens on occasion. Um, not so much. Not so much recently. I don't know. As time goes by, like you've heard so much, there's less and less that you just kind of like jump right into. Um, I tend to take my time though. With, like, like there's a few bands that I'm like steadily listening to records by, like Echo and the Bunny Man. I think I'm going to listen to like at least their first five or six records. And uh, but I'm not going to do it all in one day. Like I like to take my time with records now. But I know what you mean. I've done that in the past. I've gone crazy for bands. But these days I'm a little bit more calculated. I think I think we missed our opportunity to do anything here. Like, can I not? Can I not travel? Let's try and move. I'm pressing buttons and nothing's happening. Planets will come back in range after a minute or two. Says Castorm85. Well, let's let's wait up here then. That sounds like a good amount of time to wait. How much does the game cost, says Casper? If you go on to um, Google and type in Astroneer, there's a page where you can buy the game from and it'll tell you how much it costs there. Mmm. Mmm, that is some delicious water right there. Love water. What a great drink. Who invented that, hey? It's awesome. <laughs> Planets will come back within range. Oh, it's the same message I just read. Jeez, Asuma, what are you on about? What are you on about? There be radiated. Okay, it's coming back. It's coming back around again. Fingers crossed, peeps. It'll make it happen faster. Tino Greets says chat time then, I guess. Yep. I love the spaces, Joe Ashley. It's cool, isn't it? 
Going to space involves a lot of sitting around and waiting IRL as well, says JG434. It does. It's got its similarities, doesn't it? I really feel like that planet is going to hit us. I mean, it is actually moving straight towards us, sort of. Now it's going away a little bit. I feel like these planets are starting to move back in. I'm not sure... Oh, wait a minute. When we looking for the sun earlier? There's the sun. Aha! So we're rotating around the sun, so that one's closer. How have I, like, not noticed that? There's joint lens flare. Solar eclipse, people! Look, it's an eclipse! That's kind of beautiful, actually. Look at the way that generates. That is some, that is some good lens flaring. Well done. Well done, person who made lens flare. Right, so that one's going around. We're going around. That one will actually take probably the longest amount of time to come back into range, from the looks of it. Jeez, but it'll be worth the wait. Go to radiated, then jump to exotic. That's not a bad idea, but I think... Oh yeah, we could jump there and then jump there. I think I'll be patient, because it looks like it's about to come back in, but that would have been a great idea a few minutes ago. Angry Canine says, Do you drink water directly from the tap, or do you buy bottled water? Angry Canine, I am, I am like... A bit mad that this is the the way that things are, but this is the world we live in. Like I think it's something like eighty percent of bottled water it just comes from a tap, right? And this isn't per brand. This is just like if you sell bottled water, like you don't have to. It doesn't have to come from some spring or whatever. It can pretty much be the equivalent of uh, of tap water. And it's something like eighty percent of bottled water is just tap water. And it's all about marketing and advertising. People think, oh no, I love you know water out of the bottle. That's all our drink, bottled water, where it basically comes out of the tap. It's the equivalent of tap water. Um, so, I have, I drink from the bottle, I drink bottled water, but I bottle it myself. Like, I, I get it from the tap. So I drink tap water, um, but, you know, I've got bottles that I use over and over again, because if you've got plastic bottles, people, don't throw them away. Make use of them, because now this, we're gonna, we need to go to, like, there, because it's between the two different areas. I made that decision very quickly, didn't I? If you've if you've got bottles, make sure you get good use out of them because uh, plastic ain't biodegradable and we use it like crazy. And uh, this looks like a place where I might die. I don't want to step out of here right now, but there's all sorts of look research to be done. I don't even it doesn't even look like I could wait for the gas to settle down a little bit. It's just on you straight away. What else can we learn about this place? Is it just a place for picking up and doing research? <laughs> I mean, I could probably step out and run away for a minute and then maybe not get back. I think we should try it. I think we should try it here, so... Oh, do you know what? I actually don't think we should because it looks like it's lingering. So cloud comes in, still particle effects, still particle, next, next one arrives. I don't think... I don't think we should have landed here. I think we should go back. I don't know where to go actually. What planet should we settle on? Let's leave. This is this is a planet for doing research. <laughs> There's a space shuttle over there. I couldn't see any patches of materials, which is gonna suck. Um, but there you go. That's that area. Or maybe it was because we landed on the uh, the green bit. We do still have fuel, by the way. Let's go and have a look out here. I think looking like this doesn't use fuel. So, there's also the Tondra one over there, I think. Hello, Asuma. Did you read this correctly? I believe I did, Slime Stone and L. Uh, Angry Canine says, Tap water here, where I, where, where I live, is so fluorated and chlorinated that it tastes like stale swimming pool water. That's why I was asking. I agree with you about the fact that most bottled water comes from a tap. You can agree with me, but I believe it's factual. I mean, like, you get these statistics from somewhere, right? You know, someone's done the research, the information for you, and the statistic is the statistic. Sometimes statistics are made, you know, people people bend arms and twist the truth a little bit, right? I don't know if that statistic comes from someone who's trying to bend the truth for whatever reason, but it's a statistic, you know, so if it is truthful, then it is what it is. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, I can understand the whole fluoride thing. There's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of talk out there about fluoride being bad for your brain, but I don't really know enough about that. It's like, we have to wait a while for a planet to jump to again, aren't we? We're going to have to wait again. Uh, 15 Redstone says, Exotic got a huge amount of plants and research, but barely any resources. Tondra is quite terrain-like, uh, but far more fuel. Arid got rare resources, but very dangerous, and dust storms. 
Radiated has loads of copper slash aluminium and some titanium slash lithium, but not much compound or resin. Sounds like we should go to uh, the Tondra then. The Tondra sounds like the one to go to. Just go to a different spot on Exotic. Lots of fuel on that planet, says Tro Weir. I guess, how do we zoom back in? Like, we're here, can we click? Let's try that then. So, let's try that spot. Uh, so, we went to the green, didn't we? So, now we're going to go to the blue. Isn't fluoride good for your teeth? I think chloride is bad for the brain. Uh, just just go look up flu type fluoride conspiracy <laughs> and you'll probably find something along the lines of what I've heard about. Um, a, lot, a lot of information available out there. How much of it is true or not, I don't know, but some people seem to think that fluoride is very, very bad for your brain. I'm seeing like absolutely nothing here. Organics everywhere. I don't see a patch of anything, and the terrain's pretty rough. Let's press tab. And let's carve a path. That's not the kind of path I really wanted to carve. What about with that? That's much more like it. Except it's leaving all of this stuff about. It's made a cave. What am I here to do, eh? What am I here to do? Let's get a move on. <laughs> this is not how we do things. So there's a blob blob tree. And there's another blob blob tree. There's a lot of blob blob trees. <laughs> I think we can say that. There's not a lot of materials. And how far can I go? I reckon just over this way a little bit, then we have to turn around. I think this planet is to be skipped. I think we need to go somewhere else. Okay, that is the stuff to make. Yeah, and there's bad stuff there. Ooh, 50%. Gotta run back. Gotta go straight line. Can't go anywhere else. Can you go to another galaxy rather than this one? Assume this is J Square Pants. I don't know about galaxies. I really don't know. Let's press tab, get inside. Let's take off. So, I think now with our fuel getting a little bit lower, we need to go to the Tondra. We need to get straight to the Tondra and then that's it. There's no fluoride in water, it's chloride. Fluoride is in toothpaste, which keeps your teeth healthy, says Epic Knight. Yeah, they also put fluoride in the water. Um, is the dealio. Fluoride is in your water. Tondra tra Hello, Tondra, we're coming to you. Hey, X, what's going on, says Gert Tav. Well, just, you know, just going through space, going from planet to planet, you know. Normal day. What's, what's up with you? Uh, JG says, the CDC says, fluoration, fluora fluoridation of community drinking water is a major factor in the decline of tooth decay in the United States. Guess I was 100% wrong on that one. Okay, so apparently fluoride is the thing in water that's bad for your teeth. I thought it was good for your teeth. I can't remember. I want to go on that spot because it's got blue, white, and red around it. So in we go. Uh, Inferno says, what are you looking for anyways if you are trying to explore? Doesn't it matter where you are? Uh, well, no, we're not trying to explore. We're trying to build a base, man. We're trying to create create a new like life, a new world for ourselves to live in. Jeez, got to... Take our time with this one. Did it say copper? I thought it said copper. Are we next to a copper deposit? Man, this is like some arid land. <laughs> Unsettleable. Okay, so there's a big old valley down there. I kind of feel like maybe that's where we should go. I've got a great idea. <laughs> I actually have a great idea. You're going to love this idea. It's so, so cool that I think it might be the best idea ever. Uh, I'm going to just do that. <laughs> That's really cool, isn't it? Oh, why are you... Why are you not, like... Is this some, like, underground structure? That is making some weird noises. <laughs> well, let's let's bring this back up so we don't get stuck in that hole. And let's follow it over this way. Oh, no power. I don't know how far I should do that for. I want to go through the mountain. I thought it would be, like, easy. Uh, Verizon Amiga says, love the idea. Standing still says, fluoride is good for your teeth. Fluoride makes humans more calm and uh, complacent, according to scientists, says Aben... Just, yeah, that's that might be the thing I've heard. You know, there's also theories out there that TVs, the way that they flash images at your eyes, creates a trance-like state in the brain, is how it's described. Now, you might be going, yeah, whatever. 
And like the theory is, again, conspiracy theory stuff is that, oh, you know, brainwashing people. Uh, but if you think about it, when people watch TV, they usually watch it at a time of day when they are most likely to be put in a state that you could say is trance-like, which is when you're knackered. End of day, been at work all day, come home and watch TV, you know, your brain's half asleep anyway. I mean, maybe all that flashing light does do something. The problem is, is there's always some wacky person on the internet going crazy about it. Like, you know, it's always someone typing in caps, you are brainwashed by your TV, and you're like, jeez, leave me alone. <laughs> You know, it's never it never comes from like very credible sources, although it's supposed to be backed with, you know, sciencey stuff. But you never know. What is the truth? Is what I'm getting at. Is the truth in the television? Is the television real? Are we imagining it? You know, questions, big questions, questions that I'm making up that sound ridiculous. Right, I like the look of going down there and uh, and settling down there. But we haven't seen many materials yet either, have we? But this is the planet that we're going to build our base on. So, the spaceship, I guess, I, c I think we want this in an area where we build our base. Maybe we should check out one other spot. Hmm. Actually, I'm not going to make a decision today. I'm not going to make a decision today. We'll come back to it before we do anything crazy. Uh, because that is, in fact, all I've got time for today. Also, 40, 40th Crab has subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I'm going to wave at you to say goodbye and thank you for watching. I uh, do appreciate everyone coming by today. Of course, stick around if you want to be part of the raid. We will see who is live and who we're going to raid. Um, but that is it from me. Thank you to everyone who donated and subscribed and resubscribed and cheered. Appreciate all of your support and thank you to everyone for hanging out and chat today. Angry K9 says most of the stuff on TV today is corporate owned. Hate mongering propaganda! Anyway, I so rarely watch TV. Yeah, I don't watch TV either. We're going to raid my buddy Doc M who is working on his planet Coaster World. Uh, this world is amazing, by the way, so stick around for the raid, because this guy is building a really cool world, and I think you're going to enjoy it. But that is it from me this stream. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.